Good morning friends and uh, welcome once more to our daily Bible reflections here at uh, Money Ray non-subscribing Presbyterian Church. This week is of course Holy Week, the most important week in the Christian year. I'd like to begin, if I may, by sharing our verses of Scripture and this morning to take a passage from Matthew 14 verses 32 to 42. Jesus prays in Gethsemane. And he went to the olive grove called Gethsemane and Jesus said, sit here while I go and pray. He took Peter, James and John with him and he became deeply troubled and distressed. He told them, my soul is crushed with grief to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. He went on a little farther and fell to the ground. He prayed that if it were possible, the awful hour awaiting him might pass him by. Abba, Father, he cried out, everything is possible for you. Please take this cup of suffering away from me. Yet I want your will to be done, not mine. Then he returned and found the disciples asleep. He said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? Couldn't you watch with me even one hour? Keep watch and pray, so that you will not give in to temptation, for the spirit is willing, but the body is weak. Then Jesus left them again and prayed the same prayer as before. When he returned to them again, he found them sleeping, for they couldn't keep their eyes open and they didn't know what to say. When he returned to them a third time, he said, go ahead and sleep, have your rest. But no, the time has come. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hand of sinners. Up, let's be going. Look, my betrayer is here. We give thanks to God for our verses from Scripture. May God add his blessing to our hearing of his word. The passage is of course appropriate for Holy Week, but I think it's appropriate to us for another reason as well. For it reminds us that the isolation that so many of us now feel on this, the third week of the lockdown, that same isolation has been sensed, has been experienced by Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Master and our Saviour. And that our sense of isolation, our sense of anxiety as we meet the challenges of the days and weeks ahead is, is nothing compared to that great sense of profound anxiety faced by Jesus as he prayed alone in the Garden of Gethsemane where Eva, his closest disciples, were able to stay awake for him. It may sound a strange thing to say but I think that gives us great comfort because I think we know friends that what we feel has been felt also by Christ that Christ in his humanity knew fear and anxiety knew loneliness and sadness and yet at the end he came through for after Good Friday does indeed come Easter Sunday after the darkness of the night comes the glorious dawn. So today, friends, I would urge us to remember that if we feel anxiety, Christ has felt it too. And if we live in Christ, then we can live in his resurrection as well, knowing that the darkest times will always give way to the glorious dawn. And so, in that knowledge, dear friends, have a good day. Keep strong, keep firm in faith, and know that all will be well. Amen, and God bless you for being with us this morning.